Looks like everyone upped and left in the night. Strange. I've got goosebumps all of a sudden, despite the heat. I'm getting something of a horrible feeling here. I'd better get a move on so I can reach the Lake Basaltui camp before nightfall. Hey, Dixie. Now what would those southerners say if they knew there was a mobile toilet named after their hymn? Holy shit. If a dead fish and a tramp had a baby and the baby threw up into a dog's mouth, the dog's end product would smell better than this toilet does. Even if I had to, I would not go in there. I should maybe give it a test. Come, gather round, and have the piss taken out of you by a crazy lady with a megaphone. Ooh, I like it. Hell, they've seen better days. Now then, any juice left in these at all? Lemonade. Sweet as shit and warm to boot. <laughs> but even ice cold, it's not an option if I want to avoid doing my figure some real harm. Well, okay, I'll take it with me. But be aware that this is non-alcoholic piss water. It's certainly seen better days. Yar! Sorry. It's screwed tightly to the column. The pocket knife only has this one blade, but it's extremely versatile. I can unscrew screws with it, for example. Sits around all day. Probably shows up for food and fondling. <laughs> Men. Just two admittedly unfortunate words. Cat allergy. Airport terminal, Africa style. A little bit too rustic for my taste. Where's the air-conditioned bar and duty-free shop? A limp sock. Reminds me of my ex. Ha, <laughs> you know what? Enough of that. Crates of provisions. Well, I'm not gonna starve to death here, that's for sure. The camp lies northeast from here. That's where we want to be headed. Where's that perverse stink coming from? Oh, right. Pumba. They may be cute in cartoon form, but in the real world, those warthog tusks should not be underestimated. Hello, Mr. Kitty. How about an interview? Thank you for the profound discussion. I'll change the batteries. I'll hold the megaphone close to the voice recorder speaker. Perhaps the pig's got a cat allergy as well. <laughs> Success. I don't need a walking stick quite yet, but hey, you never know. Straight and long. Could be useful. Ants. I must have scared them up. Just like in the adventure movies. So, what do we have? Great. The guide rope on the right-hand side of the bridge is broken. That's all I need. I can't get across with it like that. I need to repair the rope first. I'll pull out a thread. 
In fact, this cap is such a waste of space, I'll throw the rest away. This is where my exceptional capabilities in the tying of seamen's knots come into play. And to what should I now tie the hook? One long hook thing coming right up. Come to mama. Well, what have we got here then? Looks like a reliable enough contraption. It clamps two ropes together. The wrench fits. Now, let's just hope the mast doesn't fall when I remove the connector. How about that? Rope connector gone, mast still standing. A woman needs a little luck sometimes. A prime example of a professional bodge job. It's really quite miraculous that this has stood here as long as it has. Let's see, this can't be all that difficult. That ought to hold. Whoa, what a mess. Who did this? Hello? Professor Hartman? Strange, no one here. What the hell happened? I had to take a look around. A four-legged stand. It's a motion sensor. There's a fireplace here, but it's stone cold. The floorboards look pretty rotten. What I'd really like to know is what threw this great big locker all over the place. A pipe. That's all I have to say about that. The wrench fits inside the pipe. Dry wood. Should burn well. Interesting storage method. That's how you keep your grub away from the hungry fauna. The laws of leverage are your friends. My favorite occupation, plundering. Mostly fruit and veg. I'll leave that here and take everything else. A genuine sun trap. Uh -huh. It fits. A laptop for outdoor use. Fully ruggedized. Well, it survived whatever hit the hut completely unscathed. Another movement sensor. A first aid box. How useful. A letter? The professor received this letter from his wife on their wedding anniversary. <laughs> Turns out married middle-aged people have very little of interest to say to one another. I'll check the first aid kit. Now I ought to make a fire. It'll keep me safe tonight from the cold and whatever else is out there. Let's get cozy. The 
a mobile solar charger has to be assembled before it can be used. Bearing in mind I don't like puzzles, I've rather nailed that one, haven't I? I'll connect the solar charger to the laptop. I'll put the laptop and the solar charger here in the sun. Ugh, the laptop's protected by a code. A strip of adhesive tape. It's stuck pretty fast. I need something to scrape it off. Might leave a scratch, but the ends justify the means. Is that just the manufacturer's logo? It looks like wedding bands or something. <laughs> looks like some kind of diary. Sounds promising. Viruses that are responsible for evolutionary leaps? That story would be an absolute scoop. Now, is there any truth to these ghost stories? Shit. Looks like it's quite possible they're close by here. I need to be careful. At least I now know where I can find the professor. Only now all that's missing is any clue to where this Christian mission is. This is where Hartman saved the pictorial info from the current expedition. The map of the camp. A map of the region to the south of the Basumtwi. Aha. Uh -huh. That over there to the west has to be the mission that Hartman wrote about in his notes. It doesn't make sense to set off for the mission now. I don't want to be wandering about in the jungle after dark. I'll spend the night here in the camp. Chasing after our scientists will have to wait until tomorrow. I'll set up the motion sensors and build a nice big fire to keep the beasties at bay. This sensor has a working range of 120 degrees. I'm thinking that the sensor belongs on top of the stand. This sensor has a working range of 75 degrees. A sensor with a working range of 90 degrees. that the sensor belongs on top of the stand. I'm thinking that the sensor belongs on top of the stand. The working range of this sensor is 160 degrees. I'm thinking that the sensor belongs on top of the stand. Looks like the sensors are set up according to plan. There. All done. Now I'm gonna get some shut-eye. And in the morning, I'll head to the mission and track down this research team. are 
were they? Animals? Nasty. I need to scare them off somehow. Maybe it'll give them a fright. They're gone. Hopefully they're gonna stay gone too. It won't be too long now until sunrise. What a night. I never got back to sleep. What were those things? Hey, maybe I caught them on camera. What the? In all the horror movies I've ever watched, I've never seen anything like this. It's a westerly direction to get to the mission. Professor, I'm on my way.